guys and welcome back to another All Heart video. Today I wanted to go through a few of my favorite Montessori and Waldorf stocking stuffers. I feel like I'm a little off my game this year because usually I'm right on top of getting all of my stocking stuffers at the same time as I get a lot of my gifts. This year, I don't know, I feel like this year has kind of thrown everybody off. So I'm sorry that I'm doing this a little bit later, but hopefully this will help give you a couple of ideas of what you can get so that you can have a few good stocking stuffers for your kiddos and your family. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and break this video into age groups. So I wanna start off with like um, stocking stuffers for babies first, and then I'll move on to basically stocking stuffers that you can have for ages, you know, like one to five. Um, so uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started on this video. Let's start off with babies ages zero to six months and six months to a year. So as I mentioned in my ultimate Montessori gift guide ages zero to six, six to 12, rattles are a very good introductory toy for your babies. They are, it's very good for developing their sensory, their auditory um, development and one of the first things that they're able to do is kind of clench their little fists. So it's it's a good toy to introduce early. They come in a variety of different shapes. I would suggest one that is just slightly thinner, just so that it's easier for the baby to kind of hold. It's such a good introductory musical instrument and your baby is able to carry on this uh, this particular toy um, for quite, quite a while. Now, along with rattles, Teethers are also incredibly important to have with your baby, especially when they are teething and they're in pain and they're kind of cranky and fussy, um, giving them something to kind of chew on to help with that. that, you know, gum pain that they're feeling is also a very good choice. Some of them are made of organic materials, they're made out of wood. Those are the ones that I prefer and the ones that I used um, personally with my children but they do have some that you can actually put in the refrigerator. So it's, you know, that cold uh, sensation is very numbing. It helps relieve some of that pressure and that sensation, that pain that they're feeling um, as they're starting to teeth. Um, so just make sure that it is BPA free. There's also ones that have like the little cloth at the end of them. So it's easier for them to chew on, but teethers, you can find them in a varied amount of you know, colors, textures, materials. So just kind of do your homework. You'll, you'll probably want to get just a couple because, you know, babies are very, very picky sometimes. So um, having a few options available to help uh, your baby through this period of time um, is going to be very helpful. Now going along that same line of teething, um, pacifiers are also a good stocking stuffer for your babies. Now, my children, they didn't really take to pacifiers, um, but you know what? That was actually a good thing. I know that pediatricians, you know, would rather you not to use them for a prolonged period of time. There are but some that are made of all organic materials, obviously BPA free. You just want to be very careful. You want to check them. You want to make sure that they are sanitized and clean before you um, introduce them to your baby and always be uh, vigilant when your baby is having anything that they are obviously going to use to place in their mouth. But um, pacifiers are also a really great idea. Now these are some of my favorite and they are the little sensory balls. And in that ultimate Montessori gift guide, I did mention a couple of them. Some like these are the really colorful ones. They have different textures. Um, perfect for their sensory development and they come in really vibrant colors so you know babies are sometimes really really attracted um, to playing with these and gripping these. the other ones that I really like are the fabric ones like this one and uh, these are perfectly sized for your baby's hands they're much easier to hold because they are made of fabric and they come in a variety of colors and patterns and uh, many of them have like either like a little squishy toy that'll make noise along with them or sometimes if you shake them there'll also be like a, a, a bit of a rattle in there as well and the crinkly paper which is also very very popular with babies as well. So let's get into a few more fun art supplies and art supplies are the number one thing that I like to gift um, my children, um, especially for their stocking stuffers. So one of my favorite things to give them are a variety of stamps. 
So I got them a set of nature stamps this year and I'll go ahead and uh, put the picture up here. But they're just a variety of like different types of leaves, different types of plants, different types of flowers. It's, it's something that not only helps along with their, you know, introduction of these things, but it also helps with their um, hand and eye coordination when they are, you know, picking up the stamps, putting them, putting them in the ink and then placing it on their paper. And it's just a really good, fun art project for them to do that they can do on their own. Another great art supply are watercolors. Um, and if you guys are familiar with a lot of the Waldorf artistic curriculum, watercolors are such an important part of that curriculum. And we absolutely love to paint. I am a very big painter myself and it was something that I was hoping that my children would get into and get inspired by. And I'm happy to say that they have. My son, who is five years old, he absolutely loves to paint and it's such a perfect way to introduce them to the color wheel and that color spectrum. Learning how to mix colors to create a new color. Learning how to um, get a more saturated and vibrant color by adding less water and then, um, you know, vice versa. Adding more water will create a more light appearance on that canvas or on that, you know, special watercolor paper. So watercolors are just such a great um, stocking stuffer and hopefully you guys pick some of those up for your kids. So dot markers are also one of my favorites and these were um, perfect for my daughter when she turned one because it's something that she is easily able to grab and kind of just push down. I mean, that's kind of their initial reaction when they receive something that they can use to write with. Um, is kind of that hard pressing, pushing motion. So dot markers are absolutely perfect for this. And then it also helps uh, with that hand and eye coordination because as you start introducing them to those dot coloring books, then they're able to kind of coordinate their hand and um, have that marker be placed in the specific circle or that specific dot so that they can create this mosaic picture. So dot markers are a favorite and they come in different uh, set sizes. So you can get some that are slightly smaller, maybe a set of six, I believe. And those are perfect to fit in that stocking. Another great option is the Stockmar Modeling Beeswax. And these are absolutely perfect as an introductory tool into modeling. What I don't like about the Play-Doh um, even the homemade ones, you know, is if they leave it out, it's obviously going to dry it out. So what's great about these is that um, they can remold them and reshape them into whatever, you know, form they decide to shape them into. My suggestion to you when you're using this modeling beeswax is um, to use a little bit of warm water just so that it's more easily malleable. I definitely would suggest this more for ages two to three and up, just because it is a little bit more difficult to kind of mold and shape. And you do wanna make sure that your, um, that your hands are slightly warm so that, you know, again, it's easier for them to shape into whatever form they're trying to shape them to. So these are some of the first type of crayons that I introduced to my son and my daughter. They are these Stockmar wax crayons. Um, and. They come in different types of shapes. Some of them come in kind of like the shape of a triangle so it's easier for them to grasp. I got my daughter a set of those but we also have a set of um, chunkier ones that looks like a rectangle and those were a lot easier for her to use and kind of manipulate in her hand. But again, you may wanna try it out with your child to see which one works better for them. But I do love the vibrancy of the colors um, that these types of crayons produce and I do prefer them a lot more to regular like let's say, you know, store-bought crayons from Crayola or something like that. But um, again, crayons, doesn't matter what kind, are always a great option for stocking stuffers. Another great art option are stencils. There's quite a variety out there. You just kind of have to do your homework and figure out which uh, types of stencils you feel are going to be um, more appropriate for your son or your daughter. There are so many different types of stencils available. I specifically like these because I know that they're durable. Uh, they're very high quality and I felt like the patterns on them were something that was going to be a bit more attractive to my son. Um, but it really does help with their penmanship, it helps with their 
hand and eye coordination. And it really does force them to apply a lot more pressure when they're trying to kind of delineate all these little patterns with their hand. And in turn, it really does help with his penmanship. Play-Doh rollers um, are also a really great option and they will fit perfectly in that stocking. So um, I picked up a few for my kids this year and they look just like these. And what I love about these is that it's perfectly sized for their hands. You can create different types of shapes, textures, designs, um, and my kids love playing with Play-Doh or clay or anything that has to do with them getting messy with their hands. So this is a great option and it just gives them just a, a variety of things to do when they are working with things like clay or Play-Doh or something of that nature. So let's move on to a few more um, smaller wooden toys. Now, this is one, the mushroom with the screw cap. It's a very simple toy, very well made. This is perfect to, um, to help with that, you know, wrist motion, their hand-eye coordination. And um, it's, like I said, it's such a simple toy, but kids love being able to work with their hands. So something like this would be perfect for them. So a small color sorter is also a very good introductory um, toy for your child, for your toddler. And they come in a variety of different colors, shapes. You can find them in whatever type of interest that your child is currently in. So my son was really into like little bees. And every time that we would go on walks, he would always point them out. So when it was time to introduce him to some of these color sorting things, I went ahead and purchased the plan toy ones. And these are the ones that come in the little honeycombs. And they've got the little color sorting bee here. So this was one of my favorites. It comes in a really small box. I believe it comes in a set of six. So it's got like the six primary colors. And it was the perfect way to introduce that color recognition for him in you know a fun way. So these wooden coins right here, I showed you in my Ultimate Montessori gift guide. And I am so excited to receive these. I'm basically counting down the days until it pops up in the mail. Um, they haven't arrived yet or else I would show them to you personally. But these are the perfect stocking stuffer. And it's just the perfect way for you to spend more time with your child. Like I mentioned before, sometimes it's difficult for them to communicate to you that they wanna spend more time with you. And obviously with our busy schedules, it's sometimes difficult to make that time. I found them on Etsy. I'll go ahead and leave the link down below in case you guys are interested, but they're the perfect stocking stuffer this year. Mayleg Mice Toys. Now, as I mentioned, and I will be doing a thorough review of all Mayleg toys, and I believe that'll be our next video. So make sure that you stay tuned for that one. If you are liking this video so far, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe. Um, it really does help out our channel. We appreciate it so, so much. So moving on, Malik toys, perfect stocking stuffers. They are the perfect size. Who wouldn't want to find a little, you know, pretend play mouse in their stockings? These are perfect in developing that nurturing side to every child. Uh, they grow up seeing all of us, you know, as parents be, nur be nurturing to them and take care of the rest of the family, that they also want to imitate that. And this is the perfect way for them to do so. These are perfect stocking stuffers. Trust me, you guys will be hooked after you purchase your very first one. Wooden peg dolls are an absolute staple to any Montessori or Waldorf playroom. Some of them, like if you look on Etsy, you'll see ones that are already painted. Um, and some of them just have like plain rainbow colors, pastel colors, some are different characters. I love the ones that are plain. Not all the time, but I do prefer them just because then my son, who is five years old, is able to create his own type of pet doll depending on whatever he's into at the time. Um, they're perfect for crafting, they're perfect for learning and developing, and they're the perfect size for, you know, them to hold. I would not suggest getting peg dolls, you know, the smaller ones, obviously for younger children, but they do come in a variety of different sizes. So you could even get some of the bigger peg dolls uh, for some of your smaller children. Play silks are also a favorite of mine, and if you are 
a beginner into the Waldorf curriculum, you're going to see that Play Silks play such an important role in that Waldorf uh, pretend play curriculum. There are so many different things that you can, uh, that you can do with Play Silks. Um, and it really does encourage that pretend play so much. And my children use this with their Holtz Tiger toys. They also use it just on their own. They use it as scenery, as backdrops. There are just so many ways to utilize these. And I've got a couple here. So we've got this beautiful blue, the purple, yellow, pink. I mean, I've got all of the primary colors. And then we have this beautiful one that it's kind of like an ombre effect of water. And we use this one as water when she's playing with some of her wooden uh, mermaids and um, some of her wooden like sharks or sea creatures. So there's just such a uh, variety of ways to be able to play with play silks and they are perfect stocking stuffers for your kiddo. So this silk crown or rainbow veil is the perfect addition to your child's pretend play area. Um, I know that you, if you've taken that tour with me of our playroom, you'll see that we have an area specifically for all of our costumes and these have made our costumes as well. And my daughter absolutely loves playing with these, especially when my son is dressed up as a knight. So they're just beautiful pretend play toys. They can basically embody the character of whoever they are thinking of and they're perfect when we are in our circle time or our story time. Uh, they love being able to dress up. Since we're on the subject of play silks, I wanted to mention these uh, Waldorf play clips. Um, and I believe you can buy them individually. You can buy them in a set of two, a set of four. I believe we have four of these and these are perfect for our Waldorf stands because not only are they able to um, use them to grip like little baskets, but it does really help when we are setting up our uh, large play silks to keep them in place. So whether or not your son or daughter has a Waldorf play stand, um, they are still able to use these and they're able to kind of clip those play silks wherever they want to create kind of that, that little tent or cave or whatever they're looking for. Kids always love to play fort. I know that growing up, it was a favorite thing for us to play. Um, so I kind of wish that I had had something like this growing up because it would have made it so much easier to hold all those sheets together. So these are perfect stocking stuffers. They're just little Waldorf play clips. So if you've got children that have just so much energy, getting them something like this jump rope is the perfect way to kind of expel that energy and have them, you know, kind of put their energy into one activity. So these are absolutely beautiful. And I believe I found these on Amazon. I'll go ahead and double check, but I'm pretty sure. And the handles are carved out of wood. They're very, very durable. So this is the perfect, activity for them to be able to do, to be able to kind of coordinate their arms and their legs because they do have to kind of coordinate that movement at one time. The next thing um, that I have on my list are these and these are called match stacks and I've got two and I purchased these for my son when he turned, I want to say he was about one and a half, almost two years old and these are so much fun. So all they are are these little points and I got him the number ones, and I got him the other ones that have the matching uh, little animals. So all he has to do is we kind of turn these upside down on the floor, and then he's able to turn them around, and he's trying to find the corresponding number. So these are so much fun. They're perfect stocking stuffers. It is perfect for him to learn um, not only matching and identification, um, and language development, but it also helps him, you know, learn his numbers and learn his, some of these uh, little animals. So I'll show you these. These are the animals. So he would have to find the matching penguin and so on and so forth, but these are so cute. And as far as like matching games, there are so many out there. If you don't wanna do coins, then you could do something like this, which are the little matching cards. They've got beautiful, beautiful graphics but just kind of figure out which ones you feel that your child would be more inclined to play. These are just kind of perfect little stocking stuffers to help your child be able to identify quite a few different things and there's different ways for you to be able to play with them. So definitely do recommend those. 
You know, I couldn't go a video without mentioning my favorite Holtz Tiger toys. So here I go, bear with me. Um, Holtz Tiger toys are absolutely perfect stocking stuffers. Not only are they size appropriate, they will fit perfectly in there, but they are going to be a favorite. They are perfect for word identification. They are perfect, you know, language identifiers. They're perfect for storytelling. They're just perfect for pretend play overall. They are made of durable material, are beautifully painted. They also are perfectly balanced. As I showed you before, you can actually um, stack them and they're perfectly balanced. So there are so many ways to utilize Holtz Tiger or Osheimer um, wooden toys. And I've got a couple here. So this one's one of my favorites. It's our little cow. We've got our little sheep our beautiful little squirrel. They come in everything you could possibly think. So if I haven't convinced you yet, try and get some wooden Holtz Tiger toys for your kids. Um, it's going to make such a difference. They are really going to love them. And I know that eventually you'll be just as addicted as I am and your collection is going to grow from there. And the last thing I have for you is a doll. Now, um, I like to give my daughter cloth dolls. She does have a beautiful Waldorf doll that I gave her last year for her first birthday, um, but that would be way too big to put in a stocking. But um, you can find a variety of different dolls, whichever doll you want to get your daughter um, or your son. Um, my son has um, a Waldorf doll as well. And um, if you don't wanna do a doll, maybe they're more into stuffed animals, but so just something that they're able to nurture, something that they're, they're able to kind of grow up with, to hold, basically do all of the things that we as parents would do with our children. Those are the things that they are going to want to mimic. So I do have a few examples for you. So this is one that I purchased for my daughter um, last year, and these are made specifically of organic material. These are just perfect little dolls. They fit perfectly in her little stocking. And I wanted to get a doll that kind of looked like her, dark hair, brown eyes. Um, so getting a doll that really just looks like your child, I feel is just so important to their development because they do kind of like to see themselves in, in other things. So getting them a little doll, or if they are not into actual dolls, then maybe getting them something that's more of their like favorite stuffed animal, something like this, is the perfect little stocking stuffer as well. So I hope this video helped give you a few ideas. So sorry that this video is coming out a little bit later. I wish I had thought to do this a little sooner, but I'm just getting around to it. Um, make sure that you stay tuned for that review of All May Lake Toys, which is coming up very, very soon. It will be coming out this week and make sure to enter that giveaway on that ultimate Montessori gift guide because I believe the last day is this Tuesday. If you guys have any questions or suggestions on future videos, please go ahead and let me know. Make sure to like this video, make sure to subscribe, and remember to ring that notification bell so that you are notified of when I post my very next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.